Okay, hey guys, it's Lorenzo again. Um, in the last video on calculus, we went over derivatives. In this video, I'm kind of going to go over what the first and second derivative mean graphically. Um, so basically, I'm going to kind of show, well, let's say we have, we have a function of x. And uh, let's say that function looked like this. All right. Now, in the first principles video, I kind of showed how um, how basically the uh, the the derivative of a function is basically its slope, right? So if you want to find a point where the slope is zero, all you do is you set the derivative of the function, you find the derivative, you set that equal to zero, you solve for x, and then you basically find the x value where the slope of the function is zero. All right. Now, there's also, uh, you can take a second derivative of this derivative to get basically, well, the second derivative function, all right? And if you set that equal to zero, you're going to find a point on the graph where the curvature of the graph changes. So let's say we had, for example, this curve. If you set that equal to zero, this, you're going to find the value where the curvature or like, yeah, here everything is kind of like concave up. Here's our concave down. So you're going to find like this point right here where the curvature changes, all right? That, that's uh, what the second derivative finds. Now, another interesting application of the second derivative <clears throat> is if you, for example, you find this point right here and you plug that point into the second derivative, right? When you plug that in, you're going to get either uh, well, a positive or a negative value, right? So Basically, if the value is smaller than zero, it tells you that it's um, it's that it's the maximum point, and it tells you that it's the maximum point because basically you're taking the derivative of this and it's it's smaller than zero. So basically, here, like here, all the slopes are positive, and now it's decreasing. So that's how you know that since this is smaller than zero, you know that this is a maximum point. Same if you had this, and now you took it, you took the second derivative of that, and it was larger than zero, you would know that this is the minimum point because here they were, here they're increasing the slopes. So that kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, those are kind of the applications of the the derivative and the second derivative.